Okay, so this will be interesting. I'm going to try and document the entire process of designing and then building a greenhouse this fall so that we will be ready for the springtime. And the first thing I tend to like to do is look up that term and then go here and see what people have out there, what looks interesting. The area that we're considering building a greenhouse is um, very conducive to a long rectangle. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so part of me is thinking eight foot deep by 16 foot wide. And then I, what I need to learn, because I don't know anything about this, would I, would I want to have um, 36 inch wide off the ground bins, then a two foot walk space, and then a little elevated, another 36 inch, because along the 16 foot side, let's just say, uh, let's just pick one of these, I'll use it as an example. Where was that one that I saw that I kind of like? Let's try this one. So the sun, let's say the sun comes along the long side right here. What I was thinking of doing was doing um, the lower where uh, the food would be on the sun side would be no higher than 24 inches. And then on the other side, I would raise that up so that it's at 42 inches or something. And that way, the sun always is up high in the sky <clears throat> to the south. I just want to make sure that I don't make the sun-facing side um, containers tall enough that they create shadows for what's left. I don't know how wide this is, but this seems pretty wide. If I went 3, 2, and 3, I have 8 feet. And, of course, it's going to be less than that because that's going to be to the outside. And I guess what I'm going to do is dig down and then put like four inches of um, some kind of gravel. I don't know if I want washed crust gravel so that water goes through or if I want um, whatever the stuff we have on our driveway that's compactable. Wow, look at this. This says 8 by 20. Boom, 8 by 16. There we go. So this is kind of what it'll look like. Except I'm not a big fan of this style of roof. The plus to this is um, your snow load, but then you have to have a some kind of structural ridge or something, or trusses, not trusses, collar ties across here, so that if anything does get heavy on your roof, it doesn't bow your walls out. I wish I could see that. Let me see. Is there a way to open that? Yeah. Let's look at that like a, just a picture. Okay. I'm going to make that bigger too. So this will be the first in a series of building a greenhouse. See how wide they have it here? This looks like it's 24, 48, 24. Because these shelves look like those standard. Uh, oh, wait a second! I have shelves. I have these look like those heavy-duty Costco shelves. Very cool. And then they just did the wood planking up the middle and just left the ground the way it is. It's like mulch or something down there. Huh. Well, this gives me some ideas. I'm pretty sure this angled piece here is what's causing... It's probably going all the way down to the ground. And it's taking some of the load off of this. So if it did sag, it's not bowing out. That's probably the design they came up with. And then they've got these uh, lateral sway brace type lead ins No, actually, you know what? Those are actually on the inside 
Yeah, because look, there's one right there coming down, and there's another one. So that's their design. Very cool. I was going to actually sink six by six posts in the corner and maybe one in the middle, and then everything else could be a four by four. But I have to figure out the size of these panels, these uh, plastic panels, and then build it to an optimal length according to those panels because that's the kind of material I don't want to be cutting. I want it to all work out. I can always modify wood, but you want it to look uniform. You need all those panels to be the same. So there you go. This will be, um, I'm keeping this one. <laughs> and we're going to draw it here. And in the next exciting episode, I'm just going to draw this real quick just to get a overall shape. So 96. Wow, we're zoomed way in. Nice. There's the shape. If you're wondering what this X is, I plotted that X. That X is at 0, 0. And people smarter than me who use Chief say that if you draw something and it's too far away from the center, you run into potential um, weird things happening. So it doesn't print and it's easy to get rid of because all you got to do is go here, delete, temp, boom, done. I just put one back. <laughs> all right, done. So yeah, this will be the conclusion of this video and um, this will be fun. I'll start another video in Chief Architect and show you the process of what I'm about to try to accomplish. Your comments are always welcome, um, positive or negative, and uh, let's just have fun, man. I love watching some of these construction videos, like the Perkins Brothers, or uh, Scott Brown, or DFW. Awesome framers, you know, those guys. So there's some real skill out there and it's fun that they share while well, they make time to film. I'm not good at that. I'm not, I like to just do the work, but, um, I love it. I love those kind of things. It's way better than just watching TV and having somebody program you. All right. Have a good one and come on back. I'll try to take the next few days to get the design part down and then we'll do a material takeoff and then we'll figure out what uh, what time frame it is for building. And hopefully materials keep coming down in price. There you go. I think, I think that's it.